There's another one coming right after this one the other way, so finally. I don't know if there was a hold up somewhere on the tracks. No idea. But I know since uh, probably noon or one, there's only been two. Unless there's one that we missed, but very few. Normally there'd be in that time period 10. Anyway, sorry. Via is waiting over there to come back up this way. He's running the Y to turn around because he's only got one engine. That's our uh, passenger train for those that aren't Canadian. It's like your Amtrak, but uh, well, very similar, I guess. Just I mean, I've never really ridden on either, so I don't really know how they are to compare inside. I know the V is nice and comfortable. It's not like the GO trains where they're made for, you know, quick transportation. V is made for comfort. tankers on this train which is hard to film at night especially when they're on track two except for the white ones here it's a dark colored engine so you just can't see at night it depends on which camera one you're viewing on if it's on my Canon you can see it everything but if it's on the 4k GoPro well, GoPros are not good for night they're wicked picture on them during the day better than my Pro Series Canon, but they don't like the cold, they don't like the hot, and they don't like the dark. Yeah, a lot of tankers on this one. The next one hopefully will come in on track one, the 396. You won't see that in this video. You have to check it out either later today or tomorrow. The, I only post a few a day, so. like this they show up really good there he goes off to the tunnel well he's in the tunnel but all right subscribe all right we got the via coming up slowly here not that slowly but just did his turn around so he can get parked Park for 
for the night before he heads back towards Toronto in the morning. He's only got one engine on one side, so or one end, so that means he's got to do this turnaround in the yard here. Oh, why isn't he going all the way through? There's no need to stop, there's nobody on it. They gave him the clear for north. They don't like to track two trains at night, not as bright. Lots of empty lumber. Good auto rack train would be a lot better. Light reflects off it a lot more. Or in a intermodal. It's okay for my Canon camera, but not the GoPro. GoPros are horrible for light. Wicked picture during the day. Better than my Pro Canon, but night, different situations, much smaller lens. Yeah, I don't know why he's on the south track. Not the track they gave him the clear for. I know they said north track, but oh well. I can move a little bit closer here now. He's not on track one. Light going off and on, off and on, off and on all the time. It makes it hard too. I wish they'd fix that. It's been doing that for the two years that I've been filming here. I really wish they'd fix it. Same as some of these street lights here. We've got four, five street lights here. Two are burned out. It was just one, but now it's two. One's been burnt out the whole time I've been filming. When I heard back in the spring, they were supposed to put new lighting all through here that we heard, and uh, because it was below uh, the required lighting or whatever it was, I don't know what the guy told us. So we were hoping to get some brand new LED lighting in here. Oh, that was nice, couple of nice graphics. It would be nice and we can film at nighttime a lot better and easier. finish off with a bunch of tankers. Now off 
inside the VIA station, which is right here to the left. All right, subscribe. Four CNs, nothing special again. Regular CN engine. It's open for some foreign power today, but nothing. We never got really many trains during the day today. They, nobody came. Very little. Normally there's about 10 to 15. We got maybe three or four. But we've gotten, I've gotten three in the last hour, hour and a half here at night. There's our off and on light. I've been doing that as long as I've been coming here. It goes off and on, off and on. Dark cars don't show up very good at night. That's why I hate track two. Track one's a little bit better. Pretty good. My favorite kind of graffiti is character art. <sighs> Not sure what time it is. It's about one o'clock. I didn't get out here till I was here for a little bit earlier today, but I didn't get back out here now till uh, nine o'clock, I think. Eight thirty-nine. Wanted to get a few late trains. It's too hot today. It's like ninety degrees, so too hot for me. I can't handle that. Used to love it. I got a few conditions now that uh, don't appreciate it. Don't know if anybody out there has uh, vasovagal syncope, but uh, I have that. And heat doesn't like me. Can't get overheated or dehydrated. Looks like we got some auto racks to coming. Oh, I hope he's not going well in, well into the yard here. Don't want one of these slow to stop or stop for five minutes. It happens. They got to do what they got to do. Sometimes they got to put partial into one, partial into another. They know what they're doing. Yeah. 
shouldn't be tired. I didn't get out of bed till after 12. Finally got a good sleep in day. Yeah. Thought it was the end, but it ain't much empty. Uh, empty uh, looks like truck frame cars. Hopefully, it can keep a focus. Sometimes it wants to focus on the stuff behind. Got some more cars coming, probably not a lot more. Still can't see the end of it. Lots of these dark tankers that are hard to get at night. Depends on which camera view you're looking at. My big Canon, my G20, works very well with with night, but not the GoPro. GoPros are horrible for night. Such a small lens. Don't get me wrong. During the day, they're outstanding, as long as it's not hot or cold. I think we might have the end coming up. Yep, I see the red flashing Fred. Not for about six or seven more cars. A couple of wood ones to end it off. Three wood and a tanker. Oh, nope, I've got an empty one behind it. One lonely empty one, probably wishes he was with the other ones. Oh no, that's something different. It's got some sort of plates on it. Okay. By the video. Alright, subscribe.